World War II was fought on epic battlefields in amazing diverse locations all around the world. It's hard not to get excited when you consider the incredible battles that are featured in Call of Duty Vanguard. So many people that come together to create Call of Duty Vanguard. It was a privilege to be able to work with all these teams to build a world that feels authentic. Even though this is a fictional story, if the world feels right and is believable, it pulls the audience in. The team showed a lot of passion to come together to deliver this game. In Call of Duty World War II, we were telling more of a story of one U.S. Army infantry unit and their experience with Vanguard. We're telling something entirely different. There's people that often seem to be forgotten when it comes to World War II. Some of the most dynamic stories are the stories of those people who are in the shadows, who have been shunted to the side by history. You play in different places, you experience different things, and it feels substantially different because of the visual styles we've been inspired by. There were so many amazing battles all across the world, often tide-turning battles, moments like Midway in the Pacific, North Africa, and the Stalingrad. There is so much more of World War II that still needs to be told. Call of Duty Vanguard focuses around a special forces team that is sent into the heart of Germany at the very tail end of the Second World War. What we were attempting to create was an origin story for special operators. The stakes are pretty high as they're trying to end the Reich once and for all. We see these characters who've all done incredible things. The reason that they're put into this situation is because time is of the essence and they can get into Germany much faster than a conventional military could. In our fictional story, the Allied leaders had heard about an operation called Project Phoenix. So they assembled this team to go in and stop it. We have five main characters in Call of Duty Vanguard. We have Arthur Kingsley, Paulina Petrova, Lucas Riggs, Wade Jackson, and Richard Webb. It was quite a challenge to make sure that each one of them was special in their own way. And I think we really achieved that. Our team leader is Arthur Kingsley. Arthur Kingsley starts the war as a British paratrooper. We based him on Sidney Cornell, who was Afro-British, and he served in the British 6th Airborne Division. His journey is really all about becoming a leader during the events of Operation Tonga. He is, I think, one of the most creative and complex characters that I certainly have ever encountered in games. To see a character like Arthur Kingsley exist, particularly in a Call of Duty franchise, it just blows my mind. Paulina Petrova is our Soviet sniper. Her character is inspired by Ludmila Pavlashenko. Ludmila became a sniper. She ultimately earned the nickname Lady Death. Paulina's transformation as her city gets destroyed, emotionally, it's such a big change for her. She doesn't star the story as a soldier. She becomes a soldier by the situation. Paulina walks through the world with a very single-minded focus, the desire for revenge. And she becomes infamous to the Germans and a kind of symbol for the Russians. Our Lucas Riggs character is inspired by men who actually experienced the siege of Tobruk during the Second World War. These Australian fighters, the wraths of Tobruk. And Lucas's story is one of rebellion against authority. The British who commanded his forces didn't really treat the Australians with the same level of respect as they did the other British soldiers. It's a very underdog story. Ray Jackson is our American character. He's inspired by this actual hero of the Battle of Midway that I know named Vernon Mykeel. We hear about Vernon who fought in Midway and was attributed with sinking two of the Japanese aircraft carriers. Wade wants to be a hero to everyone at home and really his story is about him learning to accept that he has to get help from other people and that he's more impactful if he works as part of a team. Richard Webb is inspired by Terence Otway. Otway was an officer commanding the 9th Parachute Battalion. We took a lot of inspiration on our Operation Tonga level in the game, and Richard Webb was a big part of that. Richard Webb and Arthur Kingsley, they're serving together on D-Day as British paratroopers, and then they ultimately become critical members of this special operations team. artistic lens, we want to create the war to our world in a poetic way. We want you to feel a sense of grandeur. Something that's common among all these teams is trying to bring this world to life. 
The audio team went out into the desert and recorded dive bombers. We landed the plane and climbed in the cockpit and did all the Foley recording. Our lighting team did the same thing. There were these wildfires in California. Our senior lighter decided to take his equipment and just go out and capture the sky. I immediately thought about we can use this for a Stalingrad summer level. I feel really lucky to get to work with our narrative team. Which started out as Steven and Brent, and then they brought on myself and Tochi. There's so many different people from so many different backgrounds, each doing their own part. So to be able to witness that progression and to now be a part of that progression from the creator's standpoint, it's very empowering. It just ended up being such a wonderful melting pot of people and ideas and perspectives that all came together to work so well to craft something that we're all really happy with. Working with actors, they really bring extra elements to the characters that we don't necessarily have when they're just words on a page, and then they really bring them to life during our performance capture sessions, and then we put it straight into our game. You know about Wade, but they haven't caught him yet. You told him he was killed, didn't you? Call of Duty Vanguard was an interesting project in that for most of the project, we were away from each other. We're all doing this in our living rooms. We were able to foster an environment that is strong in creativity. It was really amazing to see, and I'm so incredibly proud of the story that we've told together. The teams go to exceptional lengths to bring this world to life in a real and authentic way. It's all about trying to give an immersive experience to our player. I want the player to feel like they are a part of this team. To really feel like they're on that journey with them. November 5th is right around the corner, and I'm so excited for our fans and new players to Call of Duty to be able to experience World War II in a way they've never experienced it before. Station.